Los Angeles, California, 2004, March 5th. First time Metallica ever performed Dyer's Eve. Now, I think they may have played a little bit of it before, like a little teaser, but not in its entirety. It's a crazy song. It's super fast. The drum patterns at points are kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure Lars was talking about that. I think on Howard Stern, it was some interview, um, but they did it. And I've never heard them ever perform this. So it's the first time. And uh, some will say their hardest track ever, possibly fastest track ever. With that being said, let's effing go. We're gonna see it live in a second. Metallica's up here to have a good time, and uh, this is a song we haven't played in 100 years. <laughs> I don't think we've ever played it before, so. First time ever. Here we go. I don't even know what album it's on. I'm hyped. I don't even know what it's called. James is a fool. <laughs> Let's go.
this part is so epic. Tough. James comes in. I'm in COVID, unfortunately, uh, so he is, you know, going to be uh, quarantining for, I forgot how long it is, about a week, and uh, there was a video reaction I did on my shorts where you could see him really not feeling good during the last show, it, it was terrible, and um, you should watch the short videos, shout out to whoever filmed this video too, I'll put the original video in the description box super intense man and and for it being a pretty far away shot and i tried to zoom in as much as i could too at times just to try to get you guys closer looks uh, but props to the people that film these damn videos i try not to film at the concerts i really want to enjoy it um and did you guys go to the new tour yet i mean everyone's telling me how incredible it is you can get your tickets at metallica.com by the way and all the new merch and shout out to metallica get well soon james hetfield we love you, James. Metallica family forever, baby. First time ever performing the song. It's crazy. They never did it with Jason Newstead, who, you know, was part of the recording of Injustice for All. Amazing album. Rest in peace to Cliff Burton. We always got to show love to Cliff. And um, as far as how they did, I thought they did fantastic. A little small little areas which where it wasn't super tight but for the most part i think they did a damn good job pretty tight and uh man they are the best band ever are they not i think they are who's the best band if not metallica i think metallica is hit the like button and subscribe if you're new we do videos daily here we try to do a reaction on the video area the video section on the main page of dell's reacts and then the shorts so come through every day, commenting, liking, gets the videos up. So let's make it happen. Let's take this to a new level. Have you seen Pantera live with Metallica too? Pretty sick. Pretty effing sick, man. Rest in peace to Dimebag Daryl too. Um, and all this art behind me is by Charlie Benante, by the way. But yeah, man, they did a great job. Um, James's vocals sounded great, man. And damn, Kurt slayed that solo i think he did what do you think talk to me i love reading the comments and i try to interact with you all suggestions any other debuts that you want me to check out did they perform this way better at a different show recommend the show tell me what show the date the the city what do you want from me i want to entertain you are you not entertained then tell me what i need to do to entertain you and click one of these boxes and watch more. Yeah. Love y'all.